Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Luffy's family. Now, the existence of the Hitohito no Mi model Nika fruit is only really known to the Gorosei because they were responsible for hiding the name and even hiding its real meaning from everyone as the power of this fruit could be very dangerous in the hands of the wrong people. But Garp and Dragon have a fairly high knowledge of the past, so they could know about Nika's existence. But a good question still is, do they know that Luffy is the current owner of this deity's power? So in today's video, we're going to talk about the possibility of Dragon and Garp knowing about the sun god Nika, and if there is any possibility that they also knew from the beginning that Luffy possesses the sun god's powers even before Luffy awakened his fruit. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel, we'd be absolutely honored if you consider leaving us a like or even subscribing and maybe leave a comment with letting us know what you thought of the video. It really motivates us to make more content and if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing the video or the channel with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So friends, the fruit of the sun god Nika is a fruit in which few know about its existence and so far only the Gorosei have said that they knew about its existence because they were responsible for changing the name of the fruit that caused them very big problems in the past. But as we know, even if we erase the name of this fruit from history, the tales about it still exist all over the world, and more specifically about its former owner, who was known as a deity. The existence and where Sun God Nika came from is unknown at this time. However, everything indicates that Joy Boy was the former Nika. And after achieving the awakening of this fruit of the Sun God, he was able to obtain some immensely great powers that this fruit provides, just as Luffy currently has and is going to explore further. Throughout his journey, Joy Boy met many people, sailed around the world saving people and spreading the existence of the sun god Nika, who would later be recognized as the liberator of people. After Joy Boy lost his life for some unknown reason, the world government decided to keep his existence and that of the sun god Nika a secret, since both pseudonyms referred to only one person. In fairness, we don't know much more about this person or even what their goals were, and all we know about them so far is that they ate the fruit of the sun god in the past, held the title of Joy Boy, but his former ambitions or goals are still unknown. But the name, Joy Boy, or the sun god Nika, has remained in everybody's memory. I mean, he even left a bit of his story told in the Poneglyphs, so that in the future, the next one to inherit the pseudonym Joy Boy would be able to accomplish his mission that he wasn't able to. So Dragon and Garp both occupy very important positions. Dragon, of course, is the leader of the revolutionaries, and Garp is a member who has a high rank within the Navy, and both have privileged information about events of the past. Although they may not have information about all events, they do have enough to get a sense of the events that the world government wishes to conceal. And Dragon, as leader of the revolutionaries has heard much about the sun god Nika during his missions to free people from the hands of the celestial dragons. Talking about Nika is forbidden within the One Piece universe, and those who talked about them have mysteriously disappeared, and the world government wishes to keep Nika's existence a secret so that no one will know of his existence or what he may have done. So after being saved, many people may have revealed to Dragon about the existence of a deity who long ago liberated people just as the revolutionaries do now. Curious about this deity, it might have been Dragon that did a lot of research to learn more about this divine being that people worshipped so much, even calling him the god of the sun. So in this way, it may be that Dragon managed to obtain the greatest information that could link Nika with his son Luffy. Dragon may have even discovered that Nika, also known as the sun god, has liberating power, which allowed him to stretch his body like rubber. And this way, he could have also made a connection with Luffy's power, for both powers possess the ability to stretch. But it could be that Garp didn't have his suspicions confirmed yet, because Luffy didn't know how to use the full potential of his fruit. So until this very moment, it could be that Dragon was still not sure if Luffy really could be the Sun God, because the information about Nika is quite limited, where very few people know about their existence. Those who do know about Nika only know that Nika is a liberating god, so Dragon may not know much more than that, but it's quite likely that he does know at least that, maybe if not a little bit more. And Garp has worked for a long time as a Marine, holding a considerably high position, and he could even have become an Admiral, but has always refused the offer. Garp is also a very close friend of Sengoku, the former fleet admiral, and thus the most important person in the navy. So through Sengoku, Garp may have obtained privileged information about the existence of the Sun God's fruit, because only the world government had knowledge of the Sun God's fruit. And as the navy belongs to the world government, Sengoku may have gotten direct information from the Gorosei that this informed them of Nika's existence. So Sengoku could have told Garp, warning him that possibly some great power could arise in the future because of the existence of this Sun God Nika. And by knowing about Luffy, 
Luffy's power. Garp, like Dragon, could have seen a relationship or a connection between them. But Garp, unlike Dragon, knew about Luffy's personality, and he knew that he had a great mission to accomplish, which is why he may have been more suspicious than Dragon about Luffy actually becoming the Sun God Mika. Because Garp has shown several times that he has a deep hatred for the Celestial Dragons, and even the world government, and for this reason, he may have kept secret that Luffy had a fruit with rubbery characteristics. If the world government knew or found out, it would be too dangerous for Luffy. So Garp kept the existence of this power a secret until he could find a way to help his grandson. But because of this recent awakening, the world government now knows that Luffy is the owner of the fruit of the sun god Nika. So they're going to try their best to keep Luffy's awakening hidden. But as we know, where Luffy sails, he tends to attract a lot of attention. For the whole world to know and find out that the sun god Nika has returned is only a matter of time, as Luffy will demonstrate his incredible new powers everywhere he goes. So many will assimilate his relationship with the sun god, becoming the Nika or Joy Boy of this new era. Because of these recent events, Dragon and Garp will have confirmation that Luffy really is Nika. And as they had a great suspicion in the past, but because of the lack of information, they couldn't confirm that Luffy really was this Nika, or at least had the potential to inherit his power. In this way, it may be that Garp and Dragon at some point have to meet with Luffy in search of helping him to achieve something very important, something that may involve the world government. Because even though Garp and Dragon have the same objective, both want to solve it in a different way. Garp, for his part, wants to change the world government from the inside out so that he can make the heavenly dragons lose their godlike position, which then makes them feel like they can take away the freedoms of anyone they want to. While Dragon seeks to destroy the world government altogether with the celestial dragons. But since the revolutionaries are not as powerful as the world government or the navy, they seek to make smaller actions so that little by little they can weaken the position of the world government. And as the world government loses their control little by little, this would then create an opportunity where the revolutionaries would eventually be able to attack the government directly. But with Luffy's awakening and his power, and Nika coming back to the world, this could be an opportunity for Dragon to invite his son to help him do a big mission. A mission in which they could be directly attacking the world government. Because now that Luffy has managed to defeat a Yonko and become one now, he is part of the three great powers that lead the seas. So he has the strength to be able to change the world. In this way, Dragon could find his son and ask him to join the revolutionaries. And Garp could make a similar choice. As said before, Garp also has the desire to change the world government, but at least in a different way. Garp would want to prioritize saving the people who have had their freedom taken away by the Celestial Dragon, and then remove the people who do evil things in the Navy. And in this way, Garp would help change the group. Garp could also help by passing on information about where the world government is holding people so that Luffy can rescue them, and little by little, the world government would further weaken. After that, as the fame and respect of people had for the world government diminished, Garp could use this as an opportunity to have his voice heard by the world, and he would be able to make them listen so that they could make a mold and change the world government in a different way that works for the people. Because the way that it's currently working, and the way the Goras say are commanding the world government, it's totally wrong, and the nobles being allowed to do whatever they want is something even more evil and wrong. Just the fact that they conceal events from the past, that everyone should have the right to know, but they don't allow it. So it means that if they're willing to hide even small things, who knows all of the very important things that they don't want people to know around the world. This way, we would see Dragon and Garp competing to see who would be able to change the world through Luffy's help, because his help would be extremely important to both of these characters to achieve their goals, in which would be to change the world and world government. But this is not Luffy's goal yet. Even though he's become Nika or Joy Boy, he still has his dream of being King of the Pirates. And even if he inherits this great mission, he's not going to just abandon his dream to follow a dream that he didn't pick. But don't be mistaken, Luffy will, at some point, be able to help the revolutionaries, or even help Garp change the fate of the world of One Piece. But his goal of finding the One Piece treasure is still something that he's in search of and at the top of his to-do list. After all, he is the one who is going to be the Kaizo Kuoni, or King of the Pirates. But for now, we'd love to know what you think about it. What do you think Garp and Dragon's plans are? And do you think they work together? Do you think they already knew Luffy's fate? Or have they been piecing it together? And even more, do you think that Garp has the personality piece of the puzzle while Dragon knew about the fruit? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So friends, as we wrap things up, I want to thank you so much for watching the video all the way up to the very end. Make sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like or maybe hit that red subscribe button as you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.